YouTube, it's your boy Mike Avelli, and now I'm back with another video, man. So, anybody that doesn't know, I had a long, somewhat of a morning <laughs> type of day yesterday, right? So, three years ago, in case you guys didn't know, three years ago, um, I had leased a car for the first time. And I had never, you know, leased a car before. It was my first time going through that whole entire process. First time going to a building, you have to check my credit and do all this stuff, right? That was three years ago. And at that time, long story short, at the time, my credit wasn't that good because I was working a part-time job. I couldn't pay off certain debts that was owed to certain banks. So I couldn't get the car that I wanted at that time. Um, but it was a car nonetheless. I mean, it got me from A to B. It was a 2020 Honda Civic LX. Keep in mind, three years ago. So fast forward to the end of my lease term, which was just October 12th, a few weeks ago, or damn near a month ago, um, towards the end of my lease term, I'm like, well, I think I made my, my decision. I want to keep the car. I mean, it's reliable. I mean, the car gets me from A to B. It's like, I don't need to go for anything else. So I'm like, maybe I should keep the car. And keep in mind, I tinted out all the windows, made some some modifications, minor modifications, not exhaust pipes or rims or anything like that, but just the windows, right? Because I like for my cars to be sleek and not too much out there, if you guys catch my meaning. I don't want it to get stolen. But I called the Honda Financial Services October 12th, the day that my lease ended, and the lady was no help, bro, no help. I'm asking her, I said, I made up my mind what I want to do with the car. I want to keep it and just finance the rest. Because they say, in case you guys don't know, they say if you don't have the money to pay full up front, as far as like the uh, remaining balance, then you could just finance the rest of the payments. I said, okay, cool. I'll do that. But the situation came in, the lady couldn't take me through that process. She couldn't help me. All she told me was, well, you still have 10 more days to think about it as far as what you really want to do. I said, no, I've made up my mind. This is what I want to do. I want to purchase the vehicle and just finance the rest of the remaining balance. She said, okay, well, you have to go to your local bank or the dealer because we can't help you. So I said, okay. At that time, I wasn't on vacation from work. So now that I'm on vacation from work, I have some time off. I went to the dealer yesterday, just yesterday, Tuesday, Tuesday the 7th, and <laughs> bro, well, the reason why I went to the dealer yesterday was because I had a concerning question <laughs> about the notice that I got in the mail Monday. So Monday in the mail, I received a notice from Honda saying, keep in mind, my lease term ended October 12th. I got a notice in the mail Monday saying your account is um past the lease in term and it's heading towards default. And I watch a lot of repo shows, you guys. <laughs> so default instantly to me was a was a red flag that was just waving in my head, right? I'm like, default. So the first thing I did when I seen that word, I Googled it. And it was like, and everybody was saying, is pretty much means you're very close to getting your car repossessed. And nobody likes getting their car repossessed, bro. I don't care if you make payments on it, you so-called make payments on it, but even if you made payments on it, 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 it's not like they'll come take it even though you're making payments on it. The only reason why they're there is because you're not making payments on it, or whatever the case. But my only worry was my car getting taken, I have no way to get to work. This is my only car, you guys. Keep in mind, this is my only car. I don't have another car. And... So when I read that and I'm doing all my research, I'm getting all these things of what the word means when your account goes into default. Oh man, I'm blurring out. When your account goes into default. So I say, okay, I need to get down to the dealer first thing in the morning to tell them what my, what my decision is. I do exactly that. I go down there with that notice that they sent me in the mail and ask them a few questions. I told them, I said, Hi, I'm here because I want. I made a decision to purchase the vehicle. 
and just finance the rest. Long story short, man, I dealt with the most incredible, I guess, not really salesperson because she said she was a Honda um, ambassador for Honda. Great lady, man. We hit it off very well. Um, she answered every single last question I have. Just made me overall feel comfortable and feel like, yo, Honda got my back or this lady has my back, right? So long story short, keep in mind, I want to keep the car. Her advice to me was trade the car in. Leave it with them. They'll take care of the rest. I say, okay. She was like, yeah, I know you're close-minded to trading in your leased car and, and uh, releasing another one or finance another one, but it might be in your best option. Because of my auto loan, I'm already um, helping my dad out because I was the co-signer for my dad's truck. So when they seen that on my credit and then on top of that, you know, all my other expenses, they were like, well, we can't let him purchase this car. Even if we do, we're going to have to we're going to have to increase his um, interest rate to 20 percent. And. They might have to get rid of that truck that they recently just got a year ago or close to a year ago. They might have to get rid of it. So with that being said, the thing that she advised me to do was. Trade the car in, just get something brand new. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, when she um advised me to do that, I was like, I don't know. I just don't know, bro. You know? So she was explaining to me. She ran down the numbers as far as what I'd be paying monthly. I was like, okay, that's not too bad than what I'm paying for with the uh, with the Civic. So she said, yeah, we got the perfect um we got the perfect option for you. We have a 2024 Honda Civic hatchback. At that time, I'm thinking there is no other option. This is my only option. So whatever you guys give me, I'll take it. Hatchback, I'm not I'm not really a fan of hatchback, but you know, I'll take what you guys give me, right? So at the time, I'm thinking that this was my only option. We get outside because that's where they keep all their new cars. In a certain lot outside. So we get outside, and I'm guessing one of the finance ladies from the back called the lady that I'm dealing with or that's dealing with me called her on her phone and told her, hey, Mike's also Michael's also approved for this 2024 white Honda Accord. <laughs> and I love Honda Accords, bro, especially like these new ones. I love them, bro. I love the overall style. I love how they're sleek. So she was like, yeah, we have a 2024 white Honda Accord. So she showed me the car. For some reason, we could not find the 2024 hatchback. We couldn't find it. Honda Civic hatchback. We couldn't find it. It was supposed to be on the same lot where the Accord was. We could not find it. She's sitting up there trying to press the key to see if she could find it, if the car alarm is going to go off so we could find the car. Can't find it. So as soon as she told me about the Honda Accord, she shows me it. She walks me to it. I walk around it. I say, you know what? I made up my mind. I'm taking this. I don't even want to see the hatchback. <laughs> real real story you guys like i did not want to see the hatchback whatsoever because what's so crazy is when she told me that yeah we have a 2024 honda civic hatchback in charcoal gray i said okay but crazy enough the exact car that she's describing to me that she has for me it was actually on the showroom floor it wasn't even outside so i'm thinking the one that's on the showroom floor is the one that that's for me that they're talking about but yeah, she said, this is where we keep all the cars, the new cars outside. I'm like, okay. Well, I still believe that that was the one inside the showroom floor, but whatever. In the back of my mind, that's what I'm thinking. So she shows me an accord. I say, yes, this is what I want. Forget the hatchback. I don't even want to look at it. So she gets me started on the paperwork, print out my driver's license. You know, they take me through the whole process of signing a whole bunch of papers electronically, this, that, and the third, right? So, all that time I spent up there in the dealership, signing papers and whatnot, um, the lady, like I said, we hit it off very well. We, we were talking about life in general. She was talking about how her daughters, one of her daughters has, all three of her daughters have white Hondas. One has a white CRV, one has a white Accord, one has a white Civic. 
I was like, okay. But yeah, I always wanted a white Accord, bro. Like, that's my dream Honda and color I've always wanted for my for my next car. Up there in the dealership for a while, they finally fill it up with gas, wash it, detail it, whatever. And I was out of there, man. I think I... It, it seemed like it was forever, but I honestly don't think it was any more than two hours, two and a half, close to three hours. So long story short, you guys, I got my dream Honda. Check this out. So dope. I'm just speechless, bro. I like I'm I I'm really just speechless, man. For me, this is like a dream come true. You know? Dang, bro. Here I am stressing about getting my other car repossessed, and this whole entire time I was in good hands. <laughs> Not even all state, but in good hands. I got a gem for you guys, bro. I know a lot of people may seem like, make it seem like, you know, credit is not really important or, you know, the decisions that you make financially are not really important. But truth is, bro, without good credit, you're not going to get anywhere, bro. House, the house you want, the car you want, it's not going to happen without credit. Good credit, anyway. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, man, I just wanted to let you guys know the new baby now. This is the new baby. And if anybody knows me, you guys already know what's next. Tents. Like on my other car, I had um, limo tent all the way around. And I don't know if limo tent and 5% tent is the exact same thing or not. But I, um, I had limo tent on all my other windows on my Honda Civic and on the windshield I had 5%. So that's the exact same thing I'm going to do with this car. For some reason, I, I just like privacy, bro. I, I don't like being 
you know, too much out there, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, man, I had to update you guys, let you guys know what the new car was about, what it looked like, and how my day was yesterday. I would have vlogged it, but I didn't, <laughs> I was so stressed out, like, bro, I did not even think about vlogging it yesterday. I'm just now vlogging it the day after. But yeah, man, if you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Machiavelli gang, we up out of here, man. I love you guys, man. You guys have a blessed one and a safe one. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Fuck a capping down, we gon' make it out, that's the truth Fuck it in the works, I'd rather hit the ball with it though Mama wanna send up in the school, but I just wanna whip it Hit some chicks and show my jewels